course the wind has picked up that's gonna be freaking awesome grazing this in below 500 before 10 a.m. I'm gonna go ahead and take down what I don't need and then we can go ahead and do a decay test if this reaches I'd like to see about 300 microns and then we can go to the next call all right 245 
Um, I'm calling that good. I, I got a lot of work to do today, so I'm gonna do a decay test. Shut down on this. Shut down on that one. And then we can shut down on the vacuum pump. And I'm gonna watch for rise. I don't want this to rise above 1,000 microns in the span of 10 minutes. Just getting my refrigerant ready. This does come pre-charged, but we're eight floors up. So it's gonna probably need about three pounds. You can calculate this to get close-ish. It has been 10 minutes and we are at 335 microns. So that is very acceptable. I'm gonna valve off this micron gauge and I'm going to open up the suction line valve. All right, suction valve is cracked open. Now open the liquid line valve. With these freaking carrier ripoffs, this tool doesn't reach. It reaches on every single brand but this piece of crap. I know some people have like shaved down the end so it goes in more. I've been meaning to, but just haven't gotten around to it. Come on, bitch. Don't forget to put your caps on and you need to torque these. Don't just do them hand tight. This is a fail point for leaks. This needs to run for at least 10 minutes before I adjust the charge. Some would even say 15. This is a TXV. And while that's going on, I can reinsert the valve cores. Got my charging port for my probe. Alright, I'm gonna zero out my scale and keep an eye, I'll keep an eye on this as I'm charging. Bleed any air out of the line. Got our field piece app. Two and a half degree subcool 37 superheat. This is a TXV, so we are charging by subcooling. We are aiming for about 10 degrees subcool per the manufacturer nameplate.
right, that's our readings right now. I don't really like those. I put in four pounds, and that's according to the uh, line set calculator I used online of 100 feet on 3 8 and 3 quarter inch. So now I'm just going to be very careful when dialing in the charge. So we're looking at 9 degrees subcool, 11 superheat. I'm pretty happy with that. The reason it, it's 59 degrees right now on the roof, you need at least 70 to charge by subcool accurately. We've let four pounds in right around where the online line set calculator told me that I would have to add additional charge. I'm happy with this repair. Thank you so much for watching. This fix is done.